Yeah, I just wanted to share some additional thoughts uh, about the governing body that I had from the last video and from the comments that were left. And what I could gather from the comments is that the primary basis for the governing body is that they are following the example of the apostles and having this you know, governing body as Jehovah's Witnesses see it today. Uh, but it seemed to me that they didn't have any clear guidelines or specifications because that's one of the questions I asked is why weren't those specifications given like they were for elders and deacons like they are in the pastoral epistles because it seemed to me by implication that would be the case if there was an ecclesiastical um, office that's you know higher than the elders of the local church. So uh, I thought maybe just to get my point across a little bit better, I could just share an example, like a hypothetical example. And let's just say I was an elder in a local kingdom hall, and me and the rest of the elders came to the same conclusion that we would rather not use uh, the watchtower in our meetings any longer. And instead of doing that, we just thought that it'd be much better, much more beneficial to do verse-by-verse -verse expositional preaching through certain books of the Bible. And so uh, we, d we don't want to reject the Watchtower teachings. We just want to use a different method because that's just how we saw fit. That's how we thought the congregation could be more balanced. And so uh, let's just say we just decided to do that instead of using Watchtower magazines in the same way that they're currently doing it, implement this new method. Um, now, what would be your objection to this? Like if you were an elder in another kingdom hall and you went to my kingdom hall and you said you shouldn't be doing this, you should be running things the way we're running it or the way the governing body wants us to run it, what would be your biblical basis for objecting to that. I mean, if we're just doing verse by verse preaching through the Bible, um, is there anything unbiblical about that? So um, maybe through this hypothetical example, maybe you can kind of see where I'm coming from. And if not, maybe I can make another video explaining it more clearly. So I'd appreciate your thoughts. Thanks for watching.